John here, uh, Bloody Mix Squad of the RC Foam Fighters. Got my uh, SR71 out. I've been working on this one for a couple of, about a month now. A little bit here, a little bit there, trying to get it where I wanted it. Uh, we're ready to try a maiden flight on it today. I got the Turnigy uh, 2836, 2350 kilovolt outrunner on a 6x4 on 4S. All right. Let's see what kind of speed we can get out of it today. Actually, we're just going to see if it can fly today. And then we're going to worry about speed later. But this is my speed project I've been working on. I mentioned it earlier, so uh, let's see what it can do. Wish me luck. Good luck, John. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Trim the aileron. Oh. Bummer, dude. That's a high speed roll. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna drop that aileron right here. Gonna add expo to the ailerons, try it again. Go baby, go! It's so pretty. Is it climbing yet? I don't know. He's like constantly rolling. It's hard to follow. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Looks like it's real stable on the pitch, though. That roll is crazy. I think it's doing what you wanted. Is that even popping you back in? Yeah, that is our boom. Oh, he's actually got an arrow shaft going nose to tail. <laughs> We're gonna cut awesome them right back <laughs> mechanically a bit. Yeah, I think you need to drop the freaking front the arm down. The ailerons really need to come down. The you know pitch what, was perfect. If you do that though, you might not have enough pitch. You yeah, wanna, well, you might want to change the I've got the pitch radio. drop down 50% too. So you crank those up. And then yeah, I can crank them both up a little bit, and I think if we, because I got roll down to Dude, like 40% right now. Did you even now. get a chance to like open the throttle all the way? Did you get a chance to open the throttle all the way? Yeah, that was it was opened up when we did the, when I did the flyby. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Your cheeks hurt, John? Yeah, I it is. You gonna say it? Full fighters for the win. I gotta say some enthusiasm, man. Full fighters for the win! <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna throw it back in the air and see if we can get some speed clocks on it this time. <laughs> A little higher, a little more throttle. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> nice save, John. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. What was that? I don't know. I can't tell if it's coming or going, man. 
Is that still the Expo, man? I think that was too far away. I might have to fix that. I got real lucky. Hey John, yeah. before you get upset, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, you were in the triangle, dude. That's the same area that uh, waggled the predator, put my bear cat into the ground. Uh, I'm not sure how many planes we've smashed over there. It's usually way out this way, kind of out in that area, far behind them. Keep in mind, John's plane glided, bounced, and glided to where it got now. John here with the Bloody Mix again. Uh, the plane flew great. I've got a little bit of a radio glitch. Um, we've noticed in the past there's a spot out here that the radios are kind of funny. And the way I've got the antenna routed in here, I was already a little nervous about. So I'm going to try to reroute the antenna. i got to put a vertical stab back on. Uh, the plane landed about here. The motor was over there. The battery was over there. But the, uh, the battery was on the other, or the motor was on the, half the motor was on the other side of the runway. It did pull the, uh, clip off the can when it hit. So I'm going to have to tweak my motor mount a little bit. I'm going to straighten out the motor mount. No major no major damage, but I wasn't able to get any speed clocks off of it. Something over here is messing with our radios. And it's mostly these 72 megahertz radios that have it. So we'll get it figured out. I'll get the radio, I'll get the antenna tweaked out so I get maximum range out of it. And that seems to limit the interference. And we'll get it back in the air next week.